Hey, this is Andrew from AJS Woodworks, and today I'm going to be making a shoe rack out of pallet wood. So now I'm going to measure and cut the boards for the sides and we're going to cut these at 34 inches. Okay, now I have three more boards, and what I'm going to do here is cut 15-inch sections for basically the depth of the shoe rack. I'm going to cut these strips now 15 inches, and then we're going to rip them up the middle as well. set up the sideboards. So these are the two 34 inch sideboards that are going to run up the side of the shoe rack. And what I'm going to do is put one of these every 10 and a half inches. Doing that because I want 10 inches between each of them and the boards that are going to be the shelf are half inch thick. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to use some drywall screws. So we'll start down here which will be the bottom. So now I have the first one on, 
Now I have this board in place to give me the extra half inch. And then I will put this here. And remember we need 10 inches on each. So there's my 10 inch mark. And there's my 10 inch mark here. The top of this will go here rather than the bottom. And then we put the top of the board there. Now that we have these two sides assembled, now we can go ahead and start putting the actual shelves on. To do that, I would like to have the screws hidden but unfortunately there's just half an inch on all sides to actually screw into unless I were to go up through the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw a screw in the top of each one going into the shelf and into this piece here. I am going to drill a pilot hole first because you don't want to crack the wood. It is only a half an inch so it's very easy to crack. Then we can continue to do that all the way up and do it on the other side as well until it's fully assembled. Here's the finished product. This is basically the cheapest way to make a shoe rack. The wood that I used was from free pallets and the screws I already had on hand so it basically cost me nothing. 
Uh, if I had gone back and made it again, I think I would make these slots a little bit smaller. Instead of 15 inches wide, I think I would probably make it like 13 inches or 12 inches wide. That way these slots are smaller and it's less likely to interfere with heels or shoes that have a heel on them. If I wanted to, I could have put stain on it to make it look nicer. Maybe like a dark, uh, like a walnut stain or something like that. But I don't need it to look nice. I just need it to be purely functional. So this is going to be tucked away in a closet and it's just going to hold shoes. So I don't need it to, to look really nice. But you certainly could put stain on yours if you'd like to. And it would uh, definitely give this a little bit more of a classier look. This is my purely functional and very inexpensive shoe rack. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.